Hi. Today we will learn the stressed possessive adjectives. In our previous lessons we talked about the unstressed possessive adjectives. Now we will learn the stressed possessive adjectives. The, different, the difference between both is that the stressed possessive adjectives, these, they go after the noun while the ones we learned in our previous lessons the unstressed ones the possessive adjectives they go before the noun right the example for example in the previous lessons the unstressed ones we would say my shirt is blue right my the unstressed possessive adjective my goes before the noun shirt my goes before shirt the stressed possessive adjectives go after the noun for example uh, this, there, there is not an exact example in English because it would be grammatically correct if we translate it literally but it would be like this um, the shirt my right you would say the the shirt my this is used for stressing that it's my shirt if I say my shirt I'm the stress is on the word shirt if I say the shirt of my I'm stressing that the property of the shirt is mine okay so there is not a, an exact translation into English because grammatically it would be wrong but you will understand it when we see the examples later um, let me give you one example now la camisa mia la camisa mia the shirt mine right and I'm not translating as mine or yours okay because that is something a bit different mine would be what we call the possessive pronouns which is different than the stressed possessive adjectives it's similar but different so although we do not have an, a grammatically correct translation of these into English it would be something like saying the shirt mine okay it's uh, used in order to focus that the noun is property of of the person in this case la camisa mia I'm f I'm uh, I'm uh, actually stressing the fact that it's my shirt okay so let's see we have mio mia mios and mias for my masculine singular my feminine singular my for masculine plural and my for feminine plural right ending in o is masculine singular ending in a feminine singular os is masculine plural as is feminine plural so remember that the stressed possessive ad adjectives the six of them they change their ending according to the noun to masculine or or feminine or plural or singular right while the unstressed ones you remember that these two our and your plural were the only ones that had the four endings while these other four they would only switch to 
plural or singular, okay? So, for your we have tuyo, tuya, tuyos, tuyas. For your formal, right, for usted, the formal way of, of you, or his, or her, or its, we have suyo, suya, suyos, or suyas. For our, we have nuestro, nuestra, nuestros, and nuestras. For your plural, vuestro, vuestra, vuestros, and vuestras. And for their, we have suyo, suya, suyos, and suyas. You see that these two are identical. So, what is it that helps us, that can determine which, if we are talking about their, or about the formal way of you, or his or her or its. It's only the context. Without a context we cannot actually determine which one it is, okay? So in our next lesson I will show you some examples and sentences using these, right? So you can understand and see which are the stressed possessive adjectives and uh, notice the difference between these and the unstressed ones that we've seen in our previous lesson.